Okay, this is video four of the eBay Cells plugin for KubeCart. In uh, video three, we were showing how to list your inventory to eBay. I'm just going to continue right from where that video left off. So we can go back to the push to eBay tab, and uh, I'm going to show you some of the errors that we can see. So we're going to verify our items again. we can see we have errors this time. So we can look here and see what the errors actually are. Listing violates the duplicate listing policy. So this is eBay's policy that won't allow you to list multiple buy it now auctions for the same product. So in this case, we no longer have the checkbox here to be able to select this item to list. There's no point. If we sent it to eBay, they're just going to reject it. So in this case, we can see the error we know we already have an active item on eBay. There's no point listing anymore anyway. If you want to list more, you need to go to eBay and end your current listing. So I'm going to do that now so that I can also show you the HTML template. So let's end both of our listings. listings have gone from eBay. Now I'm going to configure a HTML template. So you need to select source because we're going to be sending source code. And here's a template that I've got some code for. This is just a free template I've taken off the internet and I've made one adjustment to it, which is here. I've replaced I've added the word uh, description surrounded with some hashtags. Uh, this is going to be replaced with the actual description from our eBay item. This is the only change I've made. This is a free template, no other changes made. So let's change from source. We can now see it's very flowery and this is what it's gonna look like. And we can see description has now got description here. So we'll save those settings go back to my inventory configuration page and for my IPA I want to use my HTML template. Save the settings and send the inventory to eBay. This time there should be no errors because we've removed the active listings from eBay. You will only get duplicate policy, uh, duplicate listing policy errors um, with buy it now auctions. If you're listing in auction format, you can list as many variations or as many products uh, as you like. Cool. Let's send both of those to eBay. And then we'll go and have a look at how it actually looks on eBay. Okay, let's go and look at the IPA. And we can see, here's our template and our description. We now have the description from KubeCart product description. Really powerful, really useful. Currently, the only two tags supported are title and description. And that's pretty much there is all there is to it. So, you know, it's really powerful. You need to configure everything at least once. It's important to understand that this plugin requires no changes to your source code for your shop, and it also makes no changes at all to any inventory in your store. It runs completely independent and maps everything between the plugin and your store inventory. This plugin in combination with the importing of orders, which will be a separate plugin discussed in the future, uh, should allow you to have a complete integration suite from KubeCart or eBay. If you have
you have any questions, please post on the video.